Hi guys. If you see If you see any kind of why is in this video mind your business okay okay there we go um so by unpopular demands and by that i mean no one asked me to make this video but i'm also running out of content but i thought this would be a good informative educative videos a break from all my entertainment videos i just want to be useful okay i just don't want to be the educative person fun person i just i want to be useful to my life and to yours so for those reasons i have decided to make this video i'm gonna like get comfortable oh i almost just dragged my phone down that would have been funny actually hey guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me hello consider subscribing to join the family and if you're coming back to this video if you're a turning subscriber that's the word um welcome hi you already know um today we are going to be talking about things you need to know before you travel okay um these are definitely things i didn't know and a lot of them took me aback especially since this covid19 thing there's been a lot more restrictions a lot more things that you need to do and need not to do in order to travel so i'm going to be talking about all the ones that i found out and the ones that helped me a lot because when i got to canada literally it took 45 minutes to get all my security done and to start waiting which was great and i want you to be able to do the same thing too to not stress so you have to have all your documents unless you are going to be stressing okay i'm gonna be this is my file this is very important to have just like a file like this that you can just scroll through to get what you need um everything being in a file is just easy and accessible for you when you get there even on the way and yeah let us let's talk about it shall we okay the airport requirements so even to when you get to the airport in lagos to even leave the airport you like to get on your flight in the airport in your hometown you need there are requirements that you need before you can even get on the plane so from the very first you need your visa self-explanatory you need your enrollment letter from the school not your admission letter your admission letter is a different thing entirely your enrollment letter this is what i was complaining in one of my videos um in my traveling video i think my, no i think my packing video that i didn't have but they literally sent it to me like right as i was about to start checking in and then i just went and printed it it would it made things so fast really um so basically part of the new covid rules and guidelines is that if you're not enrolled in school you cannot travel to canada which is crazy because people are here going on vacations and people that want to go to school can't even go to school if they're not currently enrolled i call bullshit admission no, admission letter i don't you don't need this at the, but i don't know why this is in here negative covid result taking 72 hours before departure and fast is on the 72 hours before departure the sample that was used to test must be taken 72 hours before you have to depart very important i don't know why but yeah and your covid test needs to be negative um an rf can received so i'm going to show you what my own looks like so that you guys can have an idea of what i'm talking about 
this is what your rife can receipt looks like i'm going to put a clearer picture on the screen for you guys put it right there um so you need this arrive can receipt um there's an app called arrive can you go on the app you input your information about your flight your visa and all of that and they will give you a receipt at the end which you can print out or you can just screenshot on your phone and be showing them but printing it out makes it easier and faster which is what i did okay yeah you need your receipt for produce if you're carrying any food produce you will need to pay for it at the airport when you go in you pay for it and yeah proof of payment of fees this one i was like why do you need to prove that i've paid my fees like weird much but yeah you need that and you need your passport information page honestly you can just give them a passport and they can take pictures of that but having it printed out is also very useful and it made things very fast for me um yeah okay so after you check in your bags these are all the things they're going to ask for to give you like your boarding pass and so that you can go and board your flights but when you go to board your flights you have to go through another set of security after like checking it okay and they're also going to ask for some things yes which is why i said this is very important having a file with everything that you need is very important which is what this video is here to tell you everything that you need um i also got some comments about people who are waiting for their visa or who are applying i see you guys and i wish you the best best of luck and this video is honestly mostly for y'all so like listening up it's very important they can stop you from flying if you don't have these things which is pretty scary because you go through all the stress of getting your visa and then buy your ticket and then they don't allow you to travel bullshit absolute bullshit but what can you do nothing yeah okay so at the airport when you are about to go to check-in they will ask you for your yellow card they, they give you a yellow card at the um i don't know how to explain it okay but right after you check in as you're going to where you bought they'll give you your yellow card and you have to fill it with your information from your visa from not from visa from your international passports and have it before you go in to even check in because then they'll ask you for it in security and then you have to stop it. so just to not stress yourself out have it handy in your hand don't even put it anywhere put it in your hand and have your file in your career um they'll ask for your receipt your covid test your international passport we've already talked about that if you have a stopover like for me this is what happened to me i don't know about anybody else i don't know if this is something that they always ask for but hold on i'll bring out this document for you so a paper like this let me show you more closely we is given to you when they're giving you back your passport your international passport when you get your visa this they asked for me they asked it for me in frankfurt which was where i stopped over it wasn't a straight flight boom boom stopped over and when i was about to board the flight my final flight to canada they asked me for it and there's actually supposed to be two papers i couldn't find the second one i don't know if it's even here because i have a lot of papers in this file i don't even know if it's here but he was like it's fine if you have just this one if you don't have the other one it's fine so thank god i had one i don't know what would have happened if i didn't okay now the next thing is arriving in canada when you arrive in canada there's a couple of things you need to do and you need to know but on the flight before you land they're going to give you a paper like this this has all your all the covid guidelines all the things you need to do at arriving and they also give you a little form to feel about the things you're carrying those things 
are they're not really much there's not really much to explain it's just asking you what you're carrying and the things that are contraband like meats they don't let you take meat which was annoying but they don't take, let you take meat and they'll just ask you to throw it away i think they search for me they didn't search they just asked me what do you have you have me and i was like yeah i have me and then they um they didn't end up searching my entire bag and they just told me to bring out the meat and i brought it out and they sh- threw it away right in front of me and i felt like crying but i was not going to cry because bad bitches don't cry um but that's besides the point we've not even gotten there yet but right as you're about to land they will give you i'm so sorry i just realized i've been looking at the mirror this whole time i i'm sorry okay i just think i'm pretty anyways the first security check they'll they're like there's different security on arriving in canada like in the airport there's security there's the first security they will ask for a covid test your visa your arrive canada receipt and then they'll redirect you to the next so it's like you are on the queue and then maybe this is where the security is when you come here and they see all your information they'll take you forward and that that security the next one would put something like this on your passport i think there's different colors i can't even remember what the other colors are because they did not have anything to do with me but they will also ask you if how old you are if you have your plan for your three-day hotel quarantine now if you're 17 if you're 17 and under and you're traveling alone you don't have to do it you don't have to do the three-day quarantine you also don't have to take a covid test upon arriving at the airport which like it's not necessary for you but for other people 18 and above it's necessary for them but they will ask you if you want to do it i said no if you want to do it go for it but i did not want to do it because then i would have had to do it like a third time no those things are uncomfortable no (laughs) so the next place they'll ask you again for your security this is where they'll give you your actual study permit your visa is not your study permit your study permit is a piece of paper i can't really show you mine because it's confidential information but this is what it looks like um it contains your information about your um about you staying in canada okay so i don't think i said this in my last video which i should have but when you apply for your visa you have to make sure that your student visa um, permits you to work if not you're going to be here sitting down in your house and not being able to work even when you're broke just saying you have to make sure that it allows you to work and it will be stated on your study permit if you can work they'll take your fingerprints again um, to confirm that it's you of course um and then they'll give you a study permit it's not supposed to take much time at least mine didn't because i had all my documents like i said once he asked i just searched through and gave it to him so it was not really anything anyways next straight to baggage claim and search and oh my god i mistakenly took someone else's bag like it was the exact same bag and i accidentally took the same the person's bag and when we went to like bag- baggage search and i was like i had meat and they were like okay search and bring it out so i was searching and at first i was like what this is this is when did my mom pack this and then i took someone else's bag and i realized and then i checked the tag and i was like shit it's not my bag i just took someone else's bag i was like holy shit 
and then the person who was helping me with my trolley because i took a lot of bags like five yeah um the person who was helping me push my trolley he helped me take it back and bring the my correct bag which i got the meat and gave them and then they threw it away and my heart was hurt because i did not deserve that and neither did that poor innocent meat but yeah after that there's a lot more security checks you have to go through but i didn't really have to do that because the little sticker that they put on your passport you just show it to them that's what i did i just showed it to them i don't know what they actually do what their own security check actually is but i was just like actually i didn't even know you had to show them the person who was pushing my trolley was actually the one who just told me, took the thing from me i was like you just have to show them and i was like okay okay thank you um go off i guess he was actually a very big help because the bag that i took from someone else was very heavy and so was mine so heavy bag back heavy bag back oh my god very stressful um but necessary um i don't think i have anything else to say but that's it i hope this was enough information to make sure that you have a smooth um departure and arrival in canada because mine was pretty smooth and i wish all of you who are currently in the process of getting your visa or getting to canada a lot of success but I think it is snowing. Is it snowing? Hold on. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment something because I read all my comments. You can go check right now. I read all my comments and I will like them. I'm not lying. Um, but yeah, I'll see you back in my next video because I have nothing better to do. Bye.